Okay. Do -do 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 -do. We can begin the burn. Well, this will be kind of a shit orbit. Screw it. Begin the burn! Be so long anyway. <sighs> Failed landings happen. It's to be expected. Still haven't quite finished. What else do you do? You get failed burns, you get failed things, and things don't go according to plan all the time. What do you... Get rid of you. I'll be coming up there. There we go. That's not all that we need to do. Schedule another bur maneuver there. And then we will be home. Hello, everybody! Am I actually loaded? Yep, there we go. Okay, there go the frame rates. But yeah, uh, previously, I was interrupted. Jeb is on his way home. Because I meant to go to Minimus, screwed that up, ended up at the Mun. I was like, okay, fine, we can salvage something out of this. Screwed that up, and now we're on our way home. Having salvaged what science we can. Hey kitty. So, back to the map. Now what we need to do... Whoa. Don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Uh... We get back to Minimus. Uh, back home. No. What we can do is this. And it will put us on a trajectory directly back. I like this planning thing. A lot. I think that's the most efficient point we can do it at. First time I did it really quite inefficiently. 270. We'll be accelerating away from Minimus, but that'll also bring put us into a very low energy orbit around Kerbin, which is where that comes in handy. And our burn is some 40 minutes away. Very good. Kerr report. Send it back. Not getting any signs for it whatsoever. Estimated burn NA. That'll be 273 meters a second that we need to get out of this burn. Duchess, why are you here now? Why are you up my keyboard? You're in the way. You're in the way, little kitty. So what we're going to do today is we're going to land Jeb, and then we're going to set a course with another launch for Minimus. Oh, go me for screwing that up. Do do do. 30 minutes. Fast forwarded. Can't warp faster because of the altitude that we're at. Yay for time warp! Uh, I am waiting for the Keythane mod and the Extra Launch Pads mod, as well as the KAS Kerbal Attachment Systems mod, to be compatible with the campaign mode, which means they need to be put in there as science requiring bits and pieces, which they're not at yet. So I haven't installed them, but those are the three mods I plan on using. Uh, I would be adding the life support mod, but as we discovered in my last series, it is not compatible with KAS. 
and as a result will not be used until they address the compatibility issues. Uh, and that was the Minecraft video finishing editing that little ding there. And then we'll edit this, and it'll be ready for tomorrow, and the Minecraft video will be uploaded tonight, and you'll all be taken care of tomorrow. Hooray! There's going to be two other videos I put up before the weekend. Maybe... Well, I just... I have a second monitor now, so I can actually start doing, uh... Live streams and be able to see the chat, which is one reason why I haven't done it yet, because I can't see the chat. But once I can see the chat, that'll be much nicer. Here we go, accelerating away from the mun. Doo doo boo doo 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 ba doo boo dee bee. Off Jeb goes. Okay, we've broken orbit. There we go. And we'll be very good. Ho ho. So we can start time acceleration. Time warp again. So yeah. Leaving the mun. Failed landing attempt and all. We have plenty of fuel though for going over to Minimus. That is for absolute sure. Off we go. We can actually go back to the map and get rid of that node. Then we'll escape Minimus in an hour. We escape Minimus. Escape the Mun. Why does everything start with M's? I wonder, can I get science out here by doing a crew report? It's very round! Yay, I got point seven. Woohoo! Point seven science. What do I get now? What do I get now? Okay, come on. Let me get to the command. Because I stuck all the solar panels around it. Yay, we got one point of science for that. Woo! Okay! Um, time warping. Very dangerous. We will be landing over the ocean. We'll be landing over a very big part of the ocean. Oh well. It always seems to happen, doesn't it, Jeb? They always seem to be landing somewhere over the ocean. <clears throat> Review data. How much... We'll be bringing back a good amount of science. It's not going to be as much as it could have been, but it'll be a good amount. We'll be able to get a research project done. Let's speed that up. We I'm kind of scared of things blowing up if I'm doing time warping and everything. Yeah. Will we land on land or will we land on water? That is the question right now. These re-entry effects are not... Where will we be? Kinda hard to tell. Really? We got about an equal chance of one or the other. Speed this up. Coming down. I think we'll be over land. We parachute. Yeah, we'll be overland. 
Very much overland. Crew report. Transmit. Crew report. Transmit. Transmit. Hurry! Hurry! Hmm, no more science from that. Here we go, we'll be landing on the nice beaches. I'm pretty sure this is going to... I'm pretty sure something's going to explode on landing. Do do do, oh my god. Probably not. Oh look, there's a tree! Come on. Oh. This could very much explode. Boof! Stuff has... No! This valuable science! It has blown up! Poor Jeb. Ouch! Ah, uh, we've lost some valuable science. Uh, EVA report. Plant flag. Bing. Went to the wrong planet. And we'll just do a recover. And that gets me another 11 science from that. We go back to here. And I spelled wrong wrong. Go figure. We went to the Wan planet. Uh, recover that. Recover. What do we have? Well, that's not too bad. Lost a little bit because the thing blew up. But that got us another 218 science. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to the... Science Bay. What are we going to get in the Science Bay? Docking! We're getting docking, damn it! Yeah, we got we got ourselves some docking. Boo yeah. <laughs> we can set up a craptastic space station. <laughs> yeah. It'll be craptastic space station time. Or it could just be interesting docking time. Oh, the things we can do now. Things we can do now. Oh, we got 58 science. Can I get us anything? Pfft, no. Okay. Load. To the Mun. We don't really need to add anything to this. It is a perfectly capable vessel. As it has proven itself many times before. Save. Launch. But there we go, we now have docking. I wonder if docking would generate science. It's a good question. I think we'll have to find the answer to that one later. Very big <laughs> rocket. But it very much does the job. Turn it to a third throttle. Yeah, 
as we boost. Jeb is happy as always. Go Jeb. Go Jeb. You're a pilot. Or so you hope. So we all hope. <laughs> and all the parts rain down below. Accelerate. As we try to do this kind of carefully, I want to get some sideways momentum. Do that. Perfect. Or as perfect as we can hope. Tip it over a little bit. Right there. Go SAS, go. that up there, get that up there. Control. Oops. Want this further over. Come on, come on, get down to horizontal. We are very much now in space. Begin to accelerate into the orbit here. On, come back up a bit, come back up a bit, slow down a bit, slow down a bit. There. Okay. Those parts down there. This should get most of our orbital velocity for us right here with this bit. Deploy that. And this will get us the rest. Okay. Everything is going according to plan. So far. Okay, come on, 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 come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay. Do that. We get the PE. Click here, click here, add maneuver, 
Whoop. Good enough. 113, 113. That'll be in two minutes. This booster's kind of too small there. But it's done the job. In two minutes, we do a small, quick little burn to circularize our orbit. Hmm, good enough. Not really caring if it's a bit early. Just do a light burn. And... done. There we go. Close. Now we're going to look at Minimus orbits again. Minimus's orbit is funky wonky. So I need to go to here. Our orbit appears to be a little bit funky too. Lovely. We need to make our orbit similar to Minimus's orbit. Because that would help. There, I'm going to assume that's good enough. For some reason, I keep wanting to hit RCS. <laughs> but there's no RCS yet! I don't have that technology unlocked. Doing so much with so little. Do this. Point it that way. Time acceleration! Yay for time warp! Let's do the time warp again! I don't know if that's actually a song. That might actually be the electric slide you screwed up. Who knows? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was a bit close! Okay, so it's a 10 second burn! Ten seconds now! Oh. Okay. Go away. Thank you. You've done your job. Good pit. I don't know what go pit means. There we go. Maneuver done. Okay. Now what we need to do is remember we are not going to the Mun. Add maneuver. Beyond the Mun. Not that far beyond the Mun. Oh my god, no. Okay. Oh! Ah, finicky little thing, eh? We have to avoid the Mun. Well, hopefully reaching Minimus some point. Give it a little bit extra oomph. How close are we? We are pretty darn close. And we... Keep going around. Doesn't quite make it. Curse you, Minimus, for having such a bizarre orbit. There we go. Kind of. I want to be f slightly further out. Uh, slightly before.
Huh. <laughs> we can do a flyby of Minimus and the Mun. Not really what I want to do. influenced by Minimus for like the barest of moments. This will do. 901 meters a second for the burn. It's a bit of a burn. It'll be a one minute burn. Oh my god, stop spinning. Went a little bit too far. A little bit too far. There we go. Speed everything up. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, slow down, begin the burn. Why? Because the burn is so long, so we start about roughly the halfway point. That'll help a little bit. Uh, there's that rocket thing we've left out there. Then we will save on our way out. The hell is that black dot? Anyone else see that dot there? I know there is a base there because that's where the KSC is. I know there's a base on that island there. But I wouldn't have expected it to be quite that big a blotch on the map. That is something I suppose I'll have to go and investigate. Once I can actually build aircraft. There we go. Get rid of that. And we have an encounter with Minimus. Not a very long one, but it is an encounter. And we can fix the time. That thing's still, like, going really big. Yeah, that, that is really visible right there. Something there is loaded when it's not supposed to because I can't see KSC anywhere down there. But that, that I can. That took a lot of our fuel. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Minimus has very low gravity. And that is the end of this episode. It is now 12.45 in the morning, so I am going to be going to bed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as long as you can with the new changes that YouTube has done and Google have done and, and screwing up commenting and making it difficult for people to subscribe unless they're Google Plus members, which is really stupid. But I guess they want everyone using Google Plus instead of, say, Facebook. Meh. Oh, well, have fun, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you're enjoying these. See you all later.